What should everyone know about text message marketing? Hey there, Brad Smith with automationlinks.com. Today I wanna to talk about text message marketing. This is a question I just received about what everybody should know or what you should know about how to use it, what it's all about. So, text message marketing. People can easily text you from your phone, from your website, from an opt-in form. There's like a million different ways that you can use it. But why is it important for a business owner? Because you can keep track of these numbers, you can text them back, follow up with them, remind them, and even call them if they don't respond back to the text. This can be very beneficial for a business owner, and I will explain why. When I was growing my fitness and nutrition business, I was working one-on-one -on -one with my clients. We were busy, we were chatting, didn't have time to answer the phone, couldn't email somebody back if they were interested. So what did I do? I set up a text message opt-in on the website. So while I was working with my clients, potential new leads, three per week were texting me from my website, asking me for more information about my fitness services. So now what could I do? I could follow up in between clients. Now, if you work one-on-one -on -one with clients throughout the day, you know that it's pretty tough. You don't have much time in between clients, but you definitely have time to shoot out a quick text. Even if it's only a five minute break, send them a text, give them a reply, give them that information, and they're much more likely to sign up and work with you. Now, when it comes to the marketing side, you can grow a huge list of phone numbers. So as an example, I have a huge list of numbers. I can send them texts individually or mass. I can send them a big text. Say I have a coupon or promotion plan. So what you wanna do is when somebody comes to you, they're opting in. This makes it super legal for you to reply back and continue texting because they did. They chose to text you first. And then the second thing, I want you guys to remember is keep it short and simple. Text messages are not emails, right? So make it pretty vague, give them a quick tidbit and maybe schedule a call or follow up um, a different way if you need to or just keep going back and forth with your banter through the text. And then the last thing I want you to remember is you can always follow up with these people. If they're reaching out to you, if they're opting in, it means they were interested at some point. Don't stop following up with them until they give you a yes or no. So I hope this helped. Please share it, leave a comment, or ask your question below so I can answer it in our next post. Are you sick of all the information being thrown at you by all the hype and gurus online? Hey there, my name's Brad Smith with AutomationLinks.com. Six days a week, I answer user questions with the exact tips, strategies, and insights we use to grow our business.